Oh, uh, yeah, Peter's back. Peter's back on camera. Took a little break because we hated him. Because Peter lost his bracelet. So we banned Peter from the test kitchen. Doesn't have this anymore. We're still friends, just not best friends. Welcome back to the cooking show. And today, we're gonna cook spaghetti pie. Sounds weird, because it is. My mom actually is always making it a casserole dish. I'm gonna be making it in like a springform pan. What's today? a springform pan? What's a spr Good question, I'm glad you asked. This is a springform pan, for those of you who don't know. So today's lesson is springform pans. What that means is it's, a, it's springs. So ready? Just like that. And that just easily releases things. I'm gonna heat up my pan. I've got a 12 inch skillet. I'm gonna heat it up medium high. I'm just gonna slice up some garlic right over here. I'm gonna roughly chop it. It doesn't have to be like perfect by any means. We're gonna heat up a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in this guy. And then I'm gonna add in a pound of ground Italian sausage. There's fennel kind of in here. You can get whatever flavor of sausage you like. Add it into your pan, like so. Half a pound of ground beef. If you wanted to make this vegetarian and not use any meats at all, that's fine, you can do that. Wooden spoon. For those of you out there who are like, I'm new to the kitchen scene, like I don't, I'm just living on my own for the first time. Wooden spoon is probably one of the best utensils you can use in the kitchen or have in your kitchen, I think, personally. I use it for everything. So it's great for kind of breaking up your meat in smaller pieces. It's good for stirring. It's good for fucking hitting people. It's good for using as your microphone where you're doing beat meat karaoke. A wooden spoon, it's so good, it's great. Um, so I recommend getting one of these, okay? This should be in your kitchen. Here we go. This, I'm gonna turn up the heat. It's easy a bit more, because I wanna brown my meat. You want it hot, because you don't wanna stew your meat. I wanna brown my meat. Okay, this is almost browned. I'm gonna add in my garlic. I don't add the garlic in from the beginning, if you notice, because I don't want it to like burn right away. Just kinda adding it halfway through. Okay, I'm gonna season this lightly. Just a little bit of salt. Here we go again. Everyone's gonna be like, that's a lot of salt. There we go. Look, it does look like a lot when I do that. It's not, it's not, chill the fuck out. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna set that aside. While I'm waiting for that to boil, just gonna crack my eggs up in here. Into here, we're gonna add half a pound of ricotta. Right on in. I'm gonna add this fennel pollen, I think it's about two teaspoons. Chili flakes. Again, don't have to add chili flakes if you're a little wuss and you don't like spice, but I like the spice. I'm gonna add grated Parmesan cheese. I'm not gonna use all this. I'm gonna save about a quarter cup or so to put on top. A little bit of pepper into there. I'm not gonna add any salt into this because um, the cheese and everything is pretty salty. I seasoned my meat. The pasta water is seasoned, so the pasta is gonna have a nice taste to it. Give this a nice little whisk, mix it together. Oh, I also need to add in my lemon zest. So one whole lemon, there we go. That goes in there. I'm gonna squeeze this in. You don't have to use one of these. I just kinda like it because then my hands don't get all wet. Again, whisk. Whisk it right up. I'm gonna let this cool, my meat cool before I add it into here because there's raw eggs and all that. I don't want it to like cook the eggs before it gets cooked, you know? So I'm gonna keep that separate for now. Pound of pasta, run on in. Salted water. Again, look, wooden spoon. Got a whole jar of them over there. So the key to cooking pasta is you don't need to oil your pasta water. Season this with salt. It should taste like the ocean, all that stuff. It's not a lie. But the trick to the not getting to stick together is just to stir it for the first like minute or so. I'm gonna cook this until it's al dente. So that means firm to the bite, so it's not gonna be overhooked and mushy, because don't forget, this is all gonna go together and then it's gonna get baked. We're gonna pop this guy into here. It's cooled off enough. So I'm gonna pour that into there. Just like so. Did you know what that one was? Yeah, we can't use it. We can't. You can't? Well, don't sing it. We just can't use it. Sing it. That was super Idiot. No, it wasn't. Superman. It was Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Can you use that? No. <laughs> I'm going to drain this. Ooh. 
And I can't stress to people at home, be careful when you're pouring boiling water down the drain because guess what? Sometimes the steam can burn you and that sucks. So be careful. Plop. Okay. You gotta bounce with it a little bit. Get that juices out. There you go. Whoop, right on into here. Boom shaka. So we're gonna toss this with our tongues. Okay, here we go. Oh, that smells good. This smells good. Can you smell it? I believe if I lean in close to my mic, can you smell it? <laughs> Looks like slop. But it's good slop, okay? So we're gonna put this into here. My mom used to like grease this shit. I don't grease it, because there's so much stuff in here that I don't think you need to. There we go. Ooh. Wow. Mm. Get all that. Smoothing it out, nice even layer. Done. We're gonna add some tomatoes, okay? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Never make it in the trash can. Trim off that guy. You can use that still, but I'm not going to. Thinly slice your tomatoes. So I'm gonna decorate this on the top. Don't have to be too precious about it. I am not a precious person, but you can just decorate it however your little heart desires. Don't forget to season your tomatoes, okay? So a little bit of salt on top. Parmesan cheese, that Parmesan cheese we didn't use before. We're gonna sprinkle that over it too. My mom never puts tomatoes on top. This is not, my mom, this is, we're gonna call my sister. Let's call my sister. Not, we'll talk to her about it. She's gonna be like, huh? She probably won't remember. She's gonna be so excited because she's like, you always call mom or you like have dad's recipes. What about me? You'll get your turn, little Amanda. I'm gonna cover this with foil and bake it at 350 for about 45 minutes. Take the foil off and then we're gonna boil it at the end just to get nice color on those tomatoes. You can see a little bit of the juice has leaked out. It's totally fine. Uh, with that little juice there, you can go like this. Pull it out. So, this has been in for about 45 minutes. I turned on this boiler, so I'm gonna put it under that. You're gonna keep it under there until the tomatoes and the cheese like are brown and bubbly and stuff. I went, took a little trip to a place called New Zealand, and I get back and Peter texted me and he was just like, I have some really bad news. And I was worried, I was like, oh my God, what could have possibly happened? And then I knew he lost the bracelet. And since then our friendship has been on the rocks, to say the least. It's, it's mending. It's not perfect yet though. Oops, okay, it's done. We're gonna call my sister. She's so annoying, but she's my sister, so I have to love her. I have to love her. Hello. Oh, salam. Salam, hello, Chitori. Ah, oh, Chitori, Amanda. You're on camera with me right now, by the way. Oh. <laughs> no, guess what I made? I made, um, do you remember her mom used to make, she called it pastilla, but it's not that. Do you know what I'm talking about? That spaghetti pie shit? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I made mom's recipe, but I, don't tell her. Well, she's gonna see this, I guess. <laughs> It's better. It's better than hers. But I also added lemon zest and juice, fennel pollen and chili flakes, and I topped it with tomatoes and more cheese and broiled it. Oh, fennel pollen and chili flakes, you're fancy. I know, I know. I like it. And wait, you topped it with what? Tomatoes, slices of tomatoes, and oh, like some more cheese. I you said Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos would work too. <laughs> you are on munchies, so I guess that would be good. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying about you before. I said something and I was what like, a pain I, am. I probably was saying that you're a pain. All right. <laughs> Anyways, it. love you I so love much. You. Love you too. Bye. Hi, Bye. My sister's older than me. I'm the young, cool one. I'm just running a little, little knife around the edge just to help me so it doesn't stick too much. Here we go. Ooh. Look at that release. Ready, ready, peek a -boo. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a nice big old bite. Here we go. Mmm, this is gonna be good. I like it with the tomato. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mmm. Delicious. The tomato, I think, is so nice on it. It's broiled, so it's like, I mean, it's going to be crispy on top anyway, but I don't know, the tomato, I just kind of, something about it, I just love it. This is great. 
The recipe for spaghetti pie, click the link in the description below.